Okay, so everybody quickly switch on the cameras. Let's just start. Okay, what was the last thing we were doing, students? This we finished. This quadrilateral part we finished, right? If I'm not wrong. Runs and guns. Yes, ma'am. This we finished, right? Which exercise we were doing? Okay. Others? Everybody switch on the camera. LF did. Others also just do that. I can't switch on the camera today because... I don't have electricity at my place and <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, everybody uh, did it till here or anyone who has any doubt in this till here? Aisha, do you have a class with me? Aisha, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Uh, do you have a class with me? Yes, ma'am. Do you have a class with me? Or like you take class yes, with me, Aisha? Mm -mm. But I don't think you were there in the previous class. Were you there? No, ma'am. I was having PT1 exams. Okay, okay, okay. So you, I think you joined uh, like today itself or something, na? Okay, so how would you get to know it about this, yes. Aisha? Because I already started this chapter. So how would you catch up? I had two classes with you before. Now, and in between you were taking classes with, with somebody else or you were taking classes with me only? With some other sir, two classes. Uh -huh. Then how would you cope up now? Like why they added you in this batch? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In that batch, other students were also there. Only you were there. Uh, same batch. This batch only? <coughs> yes. Vega, Ibrahim. The sir was teaching you? Okay, I shall just talk to you later about this. Okay, if you are getting it well and good and others, I'll take a backup class for you so that I can give you a brief thing what we have to do. Okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so students, uh, this is the uh, this is the question. In this, you have to find the value of x. So, Ibrahim, Jamal, also switch on the camera. Aisha, switch on the camera. Okay, so you have to find the value of x. Okay, I'm just giving you a hint for this. When you are taking this one, k, r, s, and i. Okay, this one, ignore this line. Okay. When you are taking this one, you can accordingly find it. Okay? See, first I'm take this one. one. I'm just taking one. First take this one, which will be K, R, E, and I. Sorry, S and I. Okay? You will find this. From this, you will first find the value of S. Okay? Then you will take the another one, which will be this one. Okay, which will be S, U, L, C. Okay, so you will find the value of this, sorry, sorry, E. Okay, you will find the value of E. Now you got the value of E, you got the value of S. Can you find this? If you take this triangle, tell me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, everybody got it, how to do? LF? No. Yes, Aisha and Ibrahim. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so everybody quickly find it out, then we'll discuss the answer. Can we get another one more? Uh, okay, first from here, you will find this will be the parallelogram. 
okay this k r i and s you will find the value of s okay k is already given i think you are smart enough to find s okay and then you will take the next one you l is already given you will find the value of this e okay now you got e as well as s so now this is a triangle this one e is given s is given you will find the value of this okay okay Um, okay, everybody finished?
Donne-moi. Okay, everybody finished? Should we discuss the answer? Alice, Aisha, everybody, yes. Vega, everybody finish? Yes, ma'am. Okay, anyone who's still doing? Anyone who is still doing? No? No, ma'am. Okay. So, LF, you tell me what you got the value of E. E, uh, e equals to 70. Okay. Everybody got E equals to 70. The reason would be? Uh, diagonal surface. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, opposite. Opposite. Uh, yes. So, opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. Okay. Opposite angles of parallelogram are equal. Everybody got this? Yes, ma'am. Right? Now, Aisha, you tell me what the value of S? Hmm? Aisha, did you get it or not? No, ma'am. Oh, okay, because you haven't started this chapter, so... No, not a problem. I'll just give you a back backup class. Okay. Okay. So now this, of course, this is a property of parallelogram. Angle S. So who will tell me? Ibrahim, Jamal, you tell me. Angle S is equals to Ibrahim, Jamal. Hmm. Angle S is equals to. What is the value of angle S? Ma'am, can I touch? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ibrahim Jamal, you did it or not? I don't know. Uh -huh. So, why you said we are done? I don't know. You don't know the answer? No, uh -uh -uh. Why? Why you don't know the answer? Tell me. You were there in the previous class as well, no? No? And I think you know the properties of parallelogram. What are the properties of parallelogram? Hmm? Have you heard about the property edges and angle of a parallelogram are supplementary? Yeah. Then what will be the value of S? Navega, you tell me. 120 plus x is equal to 180. Yes. Um, 120 plus angle s equals to 180 degree. Oh, right? They are separate. So. Yes, ma'am. Got it. So what you got? 60. Yes. So the value of s is 60. Right? And the reason are adjacent angle of a parallelogram are supplementary. Okay. You got 60. Now you have to find the value of x. Okay, so angle E plus angle S plus angle X equals to 180 degree. LF, you tell me what is the value of X? Ma'am, uh, 50. Okay, everybody got the same answer? 50? No. Yes, ma'am. Yes, because E was 120, uh, sorry, E was 70 plus 60. Equals to this. So angle X equals to 50. Fine? Yes. yes. And why I took angle E, S and X? The reason is angle some property of triangle. Okay? Everybody finished? Any doubt? Anything? No. No? Nothing? Okay. Now, let's just start with the next one. Okay. So, those who did it, uh, those who did it wrong, just kindly note it down. Okay. 
and then we'll I'll just give you one more question to do. Finished, everybody. Should I move to the next one? Ibrahim Martin, you lost the connection. Yes, ma'am. You lost the connection. You join yes, now. Yes, so you finished this question number nine. No, yes. I can't hear you if you are saying something. No, ma'am. You didn't finish? Should I explain this again? No, ma'am. It's okay. Actually. Okay. Quickly do this and then we will start with the next one. I'm just giving you one minute. Quickly uh, night it down. Denmark. Okay. Do this one. Man can explain. Uh, let's just wait for everyone to finish then. Done, ma'am. Done, ma'am. Okay, finish.
Okay, who will explain me? Ma'am, I don't know how to. Okay, see over here it says explain how the following figure is a trapezium. Okay, and which of its two sides are parallel. So in a trapezium, basically, if you add the opposite angles, the sum should be 180 degrees. So over here, the opposite angles are this. So let's just add 100 plus angle M plus angle L equals to 180. So 100 plus 80. Right? It is giving you 180 degree. So that means... Yes. Ma'am? Sum of opposite angle is 180 degree. Okay? Yes? So that's why, therefore, it is a trapezium. Therefore, it is a trapezium. Okay? And which two sides are parallel? Of course, you can see these two cannot be parallel. Right? This NM and KL are parallel. Got it? Everybody? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Okay. LF is enjoying today. What happened, LF? Something very special. Uh, ma'am, can you hmm? hear me? Sorry? Can you uh, I just told that, uh, first of all, you have to find it is a trapezium. So, you added M and L. So, you got 180 degrees. So, this is the property of trapezium. The opposite, once you add the opposite angles of a of trapezium, you get 180. So, if you add 180, you get 180. That's why it is a trapezium. These three dots are basically, therefore, it is a trapezium. And now, you have to find the parallel two sides, right? So, this is NM and KL, they are parallel. Then, then okay everybody finished or anyone who is still writing mm -hmm. anyone who is still writing No, right? Okay. So I'm just going to give you the next question. Just a minute. Hmm. 
find this angle C. Okay. Done, ma'am. Done. Done, ma'am. Okay, what you got? Who will tell me the answer? Mm hmm. Cancel. Mm -hmm -hmm. C equals to 60. Yes, and the reason is? Uh, like pair to open uh, like opposite parallel pair, mm. like, uh, opposite parallel angles are like and the opposite sides of a trapezium are the sum of opposite sides opposite angles of a trapezium is 180 okay so angle b was 120 plus angle c so angle c is 180 degree minus 120 which is 60 everybody got this Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Now let's just start with the next one. Okay. Anyone who is still writing this question? No? No, ma'am. Okay. So I'm just going to give you the next one. Aisha, you are getting a little bit or not? I can understand so that I'm it will be very first class. So just try to understand this. Then we'll, I'll just give you the backup class. And you'll get everything. Okay. Now find the measure of angle P, angle S, this parallelogram, this one. Ma'am. Yes. Finish? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let's just wait for other, then we'll discuss. Ma'am. 
done ma'am okay anyone who is still doing no okay so tell me who will tell me the answer okay okay wait 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 hmm. uh, angle p vega you tell me uh, ma'am uh, angle p uh, it's 50 okay everybody got angle p as 50 yes ma'am yes ma'am okay then angle s ibrahim uh, martin you tell me 90 degrees Hmm? 90 degrees. Yes. 90 degrees? S? Okay, S everybody got this? 90 degrees? It's 90 degrees. Yes, okay. And S what is left? Angle. Sorry? Yes, uh, it just looks like a 90 degrees. Mm. S is 90 degrees and P is 50 degrees. Because 90 and 90 would give you 180, no? Yes. Ma'am, but, but mm -hmm. uh, I didn't think that. Like, it is look like 90 degree. I wrote it uh -huh. like that. <laughs> but you have to use the math. You have to basically look at the method, uh, look at the property. Okay? Okay. So now let's just start with the next topic. There are some other parallelogram as well. So we will first do the rhombus. Okay. Everybody, any doubt in the previous one? Should I start with this, the rhombus? Yes. Okay. So rhombus. So the, of course, there are multiple properties of rhombus. Okay. So one property of rhombus is like that whatever rhombus has all the properties of a parallelogram and that of the kite as well. Clear? So the first thing you have to remember this. So all the properties of parallelogram, you will quickly learn it and it will be same. Okay, so a rhombus has all the properties of a parallelogram and also that of kite. Fine? Then mm -hmm. one more property which you have to remember to solve the questions is this one. This. The diagonal of a rhombus are perpendicular bisector of one another. Got it? Okay, perpendicular bisector. Bisector means two equal parts. Perpendicular bisector is 90 degree. Okay, both the properties are clear. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now I will give you one more one question. Let's see how you people do it. Hmm. Can you see the question? Yes, ma'am. Right. You have yes, to find the value of x, y, z, and justify your finding means you have to give reason. Okay. Okay. Fine. Right. Quickly find it up and then we'll discuss that. Finish, ma'am. Okay, let's just wait for everybody to do it and then we'll discuss.
okay if diagonals are equal so first you can find the value of y here you can also find the value of y then you have oh, okay. right Okay, let's mind. wait for everybody to use their brain and then I'll tell this as well. Okay. I'm just going to give you one more minute, quickly do it, and then we'll discuss the answer. Okay, I hope everybody finished, right? Should, uh, let me just explain this to everybody. Okay, anyone who got the answers? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What is the value of x? Five. Right, Martin? Five. Okay, y? Twelve. Twelve. And z? Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, Thirteen. Very good. Okay, so now I'll explain to others, those who didn't get it. Okay, now look at me, like look at the screen. See, this OR and OC. OR would be equals to OC. This OR and OC. Right? OC was 12 and OR was Y. So automatically Y is equals to 12. The reason over here is this property. The diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular bisector of one another. So that means the diagonal over here, they both would be equal. Okay. So done. Now the next one is this OE is going to be equals to OI. Okay. So this OE is going to be equals to OI. So OE is your X and OI is your 5. Right. So that means X is equals to 5. Now, you can see the uh, commas here, the mark. This says that all the sides are also equal. Okay. So if this side is 13, automatically this side, which is Z, would also be 13. And the reason with all the sides are equal. All sides are equal. Got it? Yes. 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 yes? Everybody? Anyone who has any doubt? No. Okay. So now let's just come to the next one, which is the next thing we'll be discussing is rectangle. 
okay we are going to discuss the rectangle of course you already know the property okay i have already mentioned all the properties but i'll just mention highlight few of them okay so diagonals of a rectangles are of equal length what does it says that the diagonals of a parallel a rectangle are equal length okay anyone has any doubt in this property no ma'am okay so i'll just quickly give you one question let's see if you can solve this Just tell me why it's hmm. So this one rent is a rectangle. Its diagonal met at zero. Find x if O R is this and O T is this. Can you one more? Uh, sorry? Can you repeat? Mm -hmm. uh, you know the property of a rectangle that diagonals are of equal length. Right? A rectangle, uh, so, so in a rectangle, the diagonal beside being equal in length, they also bisect each other. Okay, this property you already know. So that means uh this and this is going to be equal this and this is going to be equal and obviously like this is going to be equal to this this is going to be equal to all the diagonals are basically equal okay so in this scenario basically if you have to find the value of x that means you can write ot is equals to or the reason is the diagonals of a rectangle are of equal length and bisect each other and bisect each other Yes, so if they both are equal, then OT is 3x plus 1 and OR is 2x plus 4. Now you will bring the x terms together. 3x, this will come this side, minus 2. Okay. I hope everybody know how to solve this, right? We already discussed this in the second chapter. Yes. Right, the like the x term would come this side and the numbers will be on the same side. From 3x, if you will subtract 2x, you will get x equals to 3. So what is the value of x? Ma'am, 3. 3, ma'am. Fine. This part is clear. What I did over here. Anyone has any doubt in this? Yes. No, ma'am. Any doubt? Ma'am. Yes. Who is it out? Anyone has any doubt? Ma'am, how x equals to 3? Uh, from 3, it will subtract 2x. How many x would be left? 1. 1. So you can write 1x or x. Both are the same thing. Okay? 